What's going on guys? In this video, I'll be creating an app that is a basic calculator. So I'll just do the basic functions like add, subtract, multiply, and you know, divide. So we'll just call it basic calculator. And then go ahead and uh, hit next. And then all that's fine. And then we'll go with the empty activity. And that's good. All right, once that's all loaded up, we'll go over to the activity main xml file and we'll just go ahead and delete this and we'll also do all of our since we'll just be basically copying and pasting a 18 to 20 buttons so it'll just be easier to go to the uh, text portion of the xml layout file so right off the bat we'll need to go up here you go orientation and then go to vertical and then up here instead of the constraint layout we will just uh, delete this part and just type in linear and it'll usually finish it out. So basically this makes it so everything is like going down here. If we would happen to put in a text view, they'll all just kind of stack up in the, on top of each other. So if we would take this and just copy and paste it a few different times, see how they stack up on top, on top of each other. So I'm just going to erase these three and then just for the sake of showing you what would happen if we had a horizontal orientation I will change this to uh, wrap content so we'll switch this over to horizontal and then you know before it went straight down so this one it should see they going side by side see there's one there's another there's the other and there's the other so yeah but we'll go with I guess we don't need this text view either so we'll go with a vertical and then we're going to embed, there'll be more uh, uh, layouts, uh, linear layouts like embedded inside this vertical layout. So basically, we have just the one main layout, which will take up basically the whole screen. And then we'll have a bunch of little ones that will go uh, horizontal across the screen. All right, so the first one will go with a uh, linear layout. And then again, I'll probably just be copying and pasting a lot of this. Not this first one, though, because uh, we will uh, just, this will be the only item in the layout. The other ones will have uh, four, I think, in it. So we'll go match parent for the width. And then we'll go for the height, we'll go wrap content. For the orientation, we will go horizontal. And then we'll also go with a margin. This will add space around the edges all around if you just type in margin if you choose this one it'll just do the margin all around so if we go margin layout margin and we type in we'll say 20 dp it does it all around the uh, perimeter of the linear layout now if you would go margin bottom it would just do the bottom and now inside this layout we will add a text view now this will be uh, holding our answer here we'll go uh, match parent for the width and then for the height we'll do it a little bit different we'll go 50 dp and then up here we will go we'll give it an id and then just type in uh, make sure you hit the at plus id and then we'll just name this uh, answer and then i always like to go underscore and then if it's a text view i go tv if it's an edit text i will go uh like et that's just my own personal preference i don't know if I found that it's easier to decipher things in the code if you see if you right off the bat you see a TV and a ET or whatever you know right off the bat what's what. So so we'll give this uh, the text view a actual background color. So we'll go background. So if we go hashtag, if you go, go this will turn it black. So if you go a thousand, it kind of makes it. Uh, kind of great. I think this makes it an alpha. So if you had like a one, I think it just makes it like a 10%. Like you can kind of almost see through it. Let's see if we hit like a two. It makes it a little bit darker. Yeah. And then three, a little bit darker. So yeah, if you go all the way up to 10, or if you go all the way to nine, it's 90%. I so we'll just go make it kind of like a shaded gray. So, and then we'll make a text size. And then we'll just say 24 SP. So text, you want to go SP. And then we'll go make the gravity of the text view. And then we'll just say center. And let's just give it a dummy text so we know what. 
So we know what we're dealing with here. We'll just say zero here for now. And I think that's it for that one. So we'll just go ahead and copy this layout and then let's clean that up. And then right underneath this, we will go another layout. And again, it's going to be a horizontal. And then we got to copy this one too, just to close out this. So, and then I'm actually going to copy this because I know, I know over here we'll have like our first set of numbers. Yeah, I think a calculator has like seven, eight, nine right here. And then there's probably another thing like a, one of the addition, multiplication thing. So that's one row. Then we'll go with like a four, five, six and something else over here. That's two more. And then one, two, three, and then something. And then we'll make a bottom thing for like the equals and maybe a zero. So we'll have a one, two, four total, basically. So we'll just copy and paste this another three more times. So, okay. So in this first one, so we'll make a create a button here and then we'll make these all, we'll go with, will be a zero DP because we want to add a weight to this. And I'll show you what that is here in just one second. And then the height will go wrap content. And then I guess we'll fill out the rest of it real quick. Then we'll go layout margin. So we just want it to be a margin to the right because this layout, this linear layout that it's in, it already has a margin on it. So there'll be a space to the left and right of it and top and bottom. So we just don't want our buttons inside the layout to be right up against each other. So we're going to create a layout margin uh, right for this one. So just go down handle margin right and we will give it a 20 dp i think you're supposed to make everything like divisible by four or and then also we need to actually give it a text inside the button so we'll go text and then uh this one will probably be seven since it's on the left side and then we'll give it one more thing down here we'll go text size make it a little larger i don't know we'll try uh we'll try 18 sp for now so okay back up here so our problem here is we have the width is zero so you can't have that so if you make a layout weight down here and what this is if you make it like one and then okay and then see I don't really show anything there but if we create if we copy this actually let me uh, I think I gotta make a ID for this one real quick. We'll go ID. And also I like to put the IDs like up top if I can uh, remember to do it sometimes. So we'll go, we'll call this uh, key seven underscore BTN for button. That's good enough for me. Uh, so we'll just copy this and then underneath it, we'll go like that. So if they each have, and then this one will obviously be eight and then we'll give it a text size eight. So, okay, the lay, the way the layout weight works is, okay, say so this one up here is one, and then if we make this one two, it'll basically make it fill up more. So the weight, if they're equal, it'll take up e an equal share of the line. And if one is like, uh, like two, it takes up double the size of that one well, and it basically pushes this one over so it can fit in there. So we'll make it one, and then we'll have to create one more button here. And this one will be nine. Actually, we'll probably have to create another one too. And then we'll text nine. And then we'll go, and then we'll go with, uh, not sure why there's a, uh, let me see if I can't fix this. Uh, let me do this real quick though. Okay, so this one will be key uh, multiply malt button for multiplication and then We'll just use this little uh, shift eight, little star sign up here. I noticed that this one is kind of, I don't know, it's not really looking good. I need to move all these over. So I have to get rid of some of the margin up here. So let's go with a 10. See if that does anything. Mm, ah, maybe we'll just come back to that. I'm not sure why it's looking like that. Okay, on this last one, we don't want a margin right because it's already gonna, same, for the same reason we need a margin left on the seven. So for the mar for this one, we'll just uh, take off the margin, right? That little space right there was bugging me. So I had to take a second to figure that out. So basically we will just copy all these buttons and then copy 
and then paste them inside here. And we'll do the same here, and then pray one more row. Did I miss something up here? Oh, I forgot to. You know what? Here we'll make things easier. Paste it, and then just cut this out. Actually, I guess it don't matter. Okay, so we need to move down to this view. Yeah, if you click on these, it'll take you right there. So this one will be a, we'll go four, and four, and then five, and then five, and then six, and then six, and then we'll just say div for divide. And down here is the next row, so B one, two, three. So we'll go one, one, two, two, and then three, and then three. And then this one will be, actually I gotta go up there and change that divide sign. This one will be uh, subtract, so we'll go sub. And then we'll change this to, and then just a dash. And then we'll go up here and make this a uh, forward slash. And then one more row. And then I still got something going on up here. I'll, I'll come back to it. Uh, let's see here. So this one will be, uh, this will be the clear button. So we'll go uh, clear. And then CE for clear. I think that's what most calculators use. And then this one will be zero. And then zero. And then this one is equals. I don't think you can make that. So we'll just say equals. And and then add. We need an add button up there, I think. Add. And then we'll just hit a plus sign. Okay. Now there's something going on with this row. Let me go to this. Uh, you know what? Because I have the 20. I got the 20 DP for all. And I'll just put 20 on this one too. Actually, I don't like it. I'm going to hit 10 on all the layouts. Just up here in the lin linear layouts, we'll just go 10 DP for all of them. And if top one's fine. We'll just, and then what else? Okay. I think we got one more. And then I think we're done with this. Let me look over it real quick. But yeah, I think that looks like a basic calculator. I don't know. You can, after this, you can mess with it and make it how you want, it, just as long as you got all these buttons here. And uh, But yeah. So we will go over to the main activity. So I think I'm going to end this video right here, and we will continue off with the code in part two of this tutorial.